Yeah, let's take a look at the uh, the radar here, Steve and Heather. We continue to have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for Denton County, in particular northeastern Denton County. But I can tell you, based on what we're watching on the radar here, the worst of the storm has moved out of Denton County into northwestern Collin County. And it's along the leading edge of this line of storms where if we do see the high wind gusts, that would where it would be likely to occur here. Uh, here just now east of Salina, east of Prosper, the leading edge of this line of storms where we could see straight line wind gusts of 60 miles per hour or greater. And that is moving in the direction here of the city of McKinney and Melissa. So you folks there could be under the gun for some high winds here in the next 15 or 20 minutes as that line of storms approaches you from the west. These are also severe storms here up in Grayson County. What we can tell you is that the tornado threat continues to diminish a little bit as so we head into the early evening hours here as the atmosphere has cooled and stabilized a bit, but we certainly could still get some gusty winds up here in Grayson County. If you would, Jen, let's put up the hail size product, see if we're getting any hail out of these storms as they continue to move eastward. And yes, a little hail there along uh, 75, uh, just north of Howe. There's our hail core, not nearly as impressive as it was earlier this evening, earlier this afternoon, I should say, in eastern Denton County and western Collin County. Could be getting up to quarter size hail here and not seeing any signs of hail farther to the west and southwest. Let's put the radar back up again. Here's our line of storms that extends now uh, just into the uh, Eagle Mountain Lake vicinity and northern Parker County. The storms have been breaking up a little bit and uh, they're not quite as intense as they approach northern Tarrant County now from the north and northwest. We got thousands of folks camped out around Justin and the Texas Motor Speedway big race weekend uh, this weekend. What I can tell you here is that you're certainly going to see the threat of some very heavy rain. Watch out for those cloud to ground lightning strikes, but we're not getting any, any indication of a tornado threat or of a threat of large hail. So these are more just on the long, along the lines of strong storms here. Let's put this into motion, Jen, show folks at home that these are generally moving off to the east and they'll be building south with time in northern Tarrant County. You notice this little, uh, this green line here. That's the outflow from these storms, the cool thunderstorm outflow. And along that line, we could be seeing a shelf cloud, which is kind of a low hanging cloud. That doesn't mean you're going to get severe weather. It's just the leading edge of that cool, gusty uh, wind flow. And again, we've reached a point in time now, almost 630 where it's dark and it's going to be very difficult to, to see. Let's kind of uh, recap here a little bit, show uh, all of North Texas. Let's switch weather sources if we can, Jen, and show the tornado watch that does remain in effect uh, through much of North Texas until 8 o'clock this evening. That's the red shaded region you see there. The only two warnings we currently have right now include Denton County and also include Collin County, especially Northern Collin County and Southern Grayson County. Those are severe thunderstorm warnings. So at the present time, there are no tornado warnings in effect, but there still could be a potential of a brief spin up of a tornado here for the next couple of hours with that tornado watch that continues through eight o'clock this evening. We'll show you the radar here one more time, give you the big view here. While it is currently quiet in Dallas and Tarrant counties, these storms will be building in our direction as we head through this evening. They certainly will bring some heavy rain, some frequent lightning, perhaps some small hail. I think the good news is, and since these storms have waited so long to push into the Dallas Fort Worth area, our tornado threat appears to be diminishing a bit, and this is more going to be a heavy rain and lightning threat. And with that heavy rain, we could see some localized flash flooding here as this line of storms continues to move down to the south and east. What you're looking at down there around Corsicana and Mejia into the Athens area, that is basically just some moderate rain. The heavier activity has pushed off to your east around the Palestine area. So no severe weather threat here around Navarro County or in Henderson County. We're going to continue to watch this very closely here. Jen, anything you could add with uh, anything from the chat session here in, in 10 or 15 seconds? Uh, at this point, no. We're just uh, still watching those heavy spots of rain. Okay. All right. So tornado watch continues. We'll continue to keep a close eye on things here at Fox 4. Stay with Fox. We'll keep you forewarned.